Welcome back to my channel. So I basically saw a video of Sierra twerking about two weeks ago and I just felt very inclined to make a video on this specifically because she is a Christian or she's a self-proclaimed Christian. Um, I love her. I love her music. I think she is absolutely beautiful and you know she is a wife, a mother, but when i saw this video i can't help but to feel slightly disappointed simply because that is a sister in christ and we are called to hold each other accountable but before we get into the video let me go ahead and play you a clip of her video Now, I didn't just go straight away into making this video because that's not biblical. I actually sent her a private DM expressing my concerns. Even though I'm 99.9% .9 sure she probably will not see it, let alone even respond, I still wanted to do my part and follow the Bible. Matthew 18, 15, it says, if your brother or sister sins, go and point out their faults just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. The Bible also states that if they refuse to listen, then tell it to the church. After a couple of days, Ciara did not respond. So I went ahead and decided to make this video to express my concerns to the church and use it as a way to teach other young women and even men on what is expected of a Christian woman, especially a wife and a mother. Now, as a tidbit, if Ciara was not a self-proclaimed Christian and was just simply, you know, just making a video of her twerking, then I would have no business making this video because we should not be holding unbelievers to the standard of the Bible. What sense does it make to righteously judge someone who doesn't even believe? But now, if you claim the name of Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, there is a higher level of standard of living that is expected of you. You can't say that you are a follower of Christ and look exactly like the world. Also, there are many verses in the Bible that pretty much tell us that we are called to hold one another accountable. Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Galatians 6, 1 to 2, brothers, if someone is caught in a sin, you who are spiritual should restore him gently but watch yourself or you also may be tempted carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of christ and lastly my brothers if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring him back remember this whoever turns a sinner from the error of his ways will save him from death and cover over a multitude of sins so with that said should Christians be twerking? Yes or no? Let's get right into it. Reason number one, it makes you look like a sex object. Not everyone should have the privilege to see you in a sexual manner. If a person is moving their body in a very seductive way, they are purposely trying to get someone aroused. That is not your husband. Reason number two is pride. They are showing off their assets literally bringing attention to central parts of a woman's body so it's saying look at my butt look at my breasts look at my body look at me 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 the third thing is it shows insecurity when you act in a certain manner and post certain things that are very seductive in nature what are you saying you're basically saying look at me i want you to lust after me I need compliments from you. I need the validation to feel good about myself. Notice how the comments are always, oh my gosh, you look so good. Oh, you're so hot. Dang, I want that body. Um, how do you get that body? Or you're so sexy, so on and so forth. And it's just a list constant. Like when they post something like that, that is very seductive in nature, what they're really looking for is people to just give them nothing but compliments, just down the list like eating it up like soaking it in that's really what it is the sense of admiration that people thrive on and it boosts their ego if you have found your security in christ you do not need to feel validated by no one you do not need to feel that admiration from other people because there's already fulfillment you are already confident in who you are in christ lastly this type of content attracts the wrong type of attention from what i've seen when a man or a woman is acting seductive on their social media account, and whether they're married or not, some of the comments can get real disgraceful, real quick. 
because it opens the door to that type of disrespect. They feel that if you're gonna be posting um, videos of you twerking, even though you're married, even though you're a mom, I think that I can talk to you in a certain manner. That I don't think that that's right, but that's just how they think. They think that you are opening the door to that type of sexual comments from men and women that are not your spouse. You're inviting disrespectful comments from time to time. Now to her husband, Russell Wilson, who is also a well-known self-proclaimed Christian, recently posted this to his story in reaction to the Roe versus Wade being overturned. He will be reimbursing his employees for any travel costs to get an abortion. If I ever post a twerking video, if I ever post a video where I am just out here shaking, shaking it for the internet, please unfollow me and please call me out because the last thing I ever want to do is to lead anyone astray. I don't want people to think that it's appropriate for a follower of Christ to behave in that manner. We're supposed to be leading by example. We're supposed to be showing and setting an example for our younger women on what is appropriate behavior, especially in public and especially when you have such a high following, you know, when you are a star or celebrity and you have some some type of leverage and influence, it's so important that you use that wisely. So to end this video, I would like to end it with Matthew 5:28, where Jesus says, But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So my message to young women watching this video is if you feel the need to post videos of you twerking and being very overly sexual and seductive on your social media accounts in order to get attention, maybe you should look inward and see where is the root and why do you feel the need to do that? I think it's extremely important that we can figure out ways to express how we feel and express ourselves without it having to be sexual. You can do so many things with your life versus just being a public sex figure. There's so much more to life than that. Well, that's it for today's video, but thank you guys for watching. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure y'all hit the like button just to help with the algorithm and just to help your sister out. But anyways, until next time, God bless you.